please welcome our very first guest on the show, Athletics Director Tamika Smith Jones. Woo! Go ahead and strut that long walk down here. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right. All right. So tell us some of your background. Well, I was just like most of you all in the audience. I was a um, scholar and had a uh, talent, which was basketball, and I equate that to the arts in, in most cases on higher eds. Um, and I had a dream, and that was to um, get educated and go to college and, and become a, a great citizen and professional. And I got a chance to do that um, as a full scholarship athlete at Troy University. I started okay. there, Division One program. I transferred um, in my sophomore year to Alabama a and where I finished my career and was able to do some of the things that I wanted to do socially and not just be a uh, jersey number. What were some of those social things? <laughs> I pledged Delta Sigma Theta Sigma. Hey. Hey. That was okay. one of them. Shout out. Shout um, out. But then I was able to um, go to Savannah State as a graduate assistant. So I, I was a graduate assistant for basketball, women's basketball. Learned a lot about the business. Uh, became an assistant coach full time and got into administration and from there it was a, a great journey. I mean, I, I, prior to coming to UCR, I was at the University of Texas at San Antonio, mm -hmm. um, which was a football institution. Football? <laughs> Is that right? Uh, that's right. And we don't know anything about that here. You don't know anything about that here. <laughs> um, I've met some of the football greats here, but I, I started out as an athletic director at the Division II level at mm -hmm. Clark Atlanta University, which is a historically black college and university. Uh, was a lot of training ground for me. I got a chance to get my hands in a lot of, of, of things in the athletic world and also in higher ed. It's a high research institution. So I think that prepared me more so for where I am today at, at UCR. Awesome. Awesome. Now, if it serves my recollection right, you are actually one of 20 female athletic directors out of 300 in all of the Division One athletics. Is Can that correct? Can you believe that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're an athletic director. Yes. Yeah. We've got one of the 20 out of 300. Now, we already talked about it, or at least kind of alluded to it, but... C congratulations, by the way. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get straight to it. What is the possibility of bringing a football team to UC Riverside? <laughs> football at UCR. Um, well, you know what? Um, I would love to see football back at UCR, um, but the first thing we have to take care of what we have now. And we have 17 sports, men's and women's basketball, soccer, um, doing very well. We are in spring sports now uh, with baseball and um, softball, tracks, uh, volleyball. So I need butts in the seats mm. now. <laughs> um, but, but because our, our student athletes, first of all, they're students just like you know everyone else on this campus. And they try to balance a lot. Mm. And for them not to see the support of their peers and, and um, friends out on the campus, um, it's tough. I've been in that seat before. I've been a player. Um, I've coached them. So um, to get that energy in the building, to really have an exciting environment, a college experience for all of our students, not just for the athletes' sake, I think that brings a lot of attention to our campus. Um, media, you wouldn't know this, but I'll tell you this. Um, we hadn't had more than about five um, ESPN or Fox Sports games before mm -hmm. my arrival. Um, I asked for more, and they gave us about 15 this year. So now when you come into the arena, you see a lot of media because they're nothing else. And that's the Big West Conference, they, and just because I asked for it. So I think with, with I mean, you don't have to be that smart, okay? <laughs> just witty, witty. Um, but I think with a football program, you can build a lot of tradition, uh, a lot of branding, mm -hmm. uh, but I've managed football. Um, it was the one sport at Clark Atlanta that we just could not get up and running because it costs so much and so many um, human and fiscal resources go into it. And a lot of community um, support and engagement, a lot of bringing alumni back to build the infrastructure. So it's a mess. I didn't stay long enough to do it. If I would have stayed, I'm sure we would have gotten it done. We had one successful year, and um, during my time, we were six and five. That's as close as we got to a All winning right. season. But above 500. Above 500, yeah. but that was the first in like 10 years. It's tough. It's tough. But mm -hmm. our women's basketball team is 12 and 0 right now. Is that right? <laughs> Twelve and all right now. I'm gonna give it to you. That was slick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> subject real quick. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, women's basketball game. Women's basketball has been killing the game. That's awesome. But now that you have been here for um, one quarter now, right? Yes. Since last fall, yes. 
what is something that you plan to kind of bring to UCR as students can become more involved within UCR athletics? Well, one of the things is I think that our students have, have to become a part of the fabric of the university. So we don't want to be just a silo, a, a separate entity of the campus. Um, athletic facilities are on one wing of the campus, and mm -hmm. we don't get involved in what's going on on the main campus at the Bill Tower, um, at the Hub. <laughs> I hang out a lot at that space because I like to see the student interactions. Um, so I think that we have a responsibility to get engaged with different things like, you know, late night, um, different things that the service organizations on campus are doing. Uh, we want to be invited and involved. I think we'll get friends of the program that way and then the students will support us more um, as a result. So I, one thing if I could solicit um, the students do, is, that is invite us to be a part of what they're doing. So if you have things going on that you need 300 student athletes to you know, <laughs> attend, I have them. <laughs> so, um, or even they could even attend some of the events, right? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. They would love to. Their times are very, you know, restricted. But um, what I've seen in my time here is that they don't know about a lot of things that are going on outside of their class schedule, outside of their competition That's schedule, um, outside of the community engagement we involve them in. So um, some organizations, when I tell them that, they send me the information. And then I'll become responsible for it. And I'm, I'm game for that. Okay. Now, it seems like a lot of the problem is that the students just really don't know um, too much about how to be engaged, and more than just having a schedule of all the games. But what's one thing that we as students can come and actually give more of that support you're talking about to the student athletes? Well, um, you know, we have to inform you as much as we can. If we can get into the residential halls, if we can get into the dining um, services to uh, promote the games more, if we can have more kind of pep rally type things like we had during homecoming, celebrations, tailgating, um, all of those are college experiences that I've had everywhere I've been. Um, not so much since I've been at UCR, but um, I definitely got the support of the administration, Chancellor Kim, who hired me that um, those are some of the things that we want to be able to do to engage the students, the campus, the community. So um, when we have things like that, we need you all to you know, show up. We had a yeah. tailgate last two weeks ago or last week that we, we promoted with the fraternities and sororities, and um, we didn't have such a show. Okay. Well, y'all have food there, right? We did. Oh, what kind of food? <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to know. Now, chicken, we had chicken. Okay. <laughs> where's the next one? Uh, the next one, we, we won't have another one before the year's out. Uh, we're getting prepared for the Big West Conference. So that's uh, March 9th through the 12th. So okay. um, we, we'll, we'll start planning some things for um, next year, and hopefully we'll get you all more information that you can in, in, attend and enjoy. That sounds good. We should all mark our calendars for March 9th. But that is all the time that we have right now. Thank you so much, Tamika Jones, for Thank joining you. us Thank today. Thank you for having me.